I want my taxes to go to schooling for everybody. I think education's great. I don't want my taxes to go to fund wars. I don't want my taxes to go to the military or the police budget, but I don't get you to You don't pick. want any military? I don't think that it should go to fund the military what? like that. I want my taxes. You don't want any police force? What? Who do you think is protecting... <laughs> That there's a creator who loves you, okay. who made you in his image, and loved you so much to come down and take the broken flesh form, live a perfect life, die and rise from the dead, mm -hmm. so that you might live forever. There mm -hmm. is nothing more perfect, good, true, or beautiful than that. Okay, so I don't really engage with religion like that. You're wearing a cross. You have a cross on your neck. What do you mean you don't engage with religion? Maybe we could talk a little bit more about how you see college as a scam. Okay. I think we, we, we did that, but sure. So. Uh, if you want to talk about something else, we can talk about something else. I was just curious. Okay. Um, what, what, would, what would you like to, to pinpoint on that? Yeah, well, I think a big part of your issue is that people are spending a lot of money and that you feel like they're not getting the equivalent of all the money that they go into debt or that they have to borrow to make it worth it. Um, well, in that case, I really, I think education is really awesome. I think it's really valuable. I think education's the only way that someone like you is able to write a book is because someone taught you how to read and write. Whoa. And oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm in college right now, so I think this is a perfect video for me to watch. But one, the reason I paused is because she low-key just threw a little shade at him right there. She said, well, education is important. That's the only reason you're even able to write a book. Hey, I don't know Charlie Kirk's view on education, but this video is about college, so that comment was a little disingenuous, but let's continue. Education on all levels is great, so that's not my, that one, I don't think that's your issue with college, right? Do, that do you know people, where I went to college? Um, I don't think that's important right now. Let me just, no. uh, I, I didn't. I'm just talking to, I said read and write, like, who taught you to read? No, no I agree. Hey, I, I, hey, I didn't say grade hey, school's a scam. Can we just keep going? All right. I can said we college just... is a scam, not grade school. Right. Keep going. So we're talking about the financial part, right? So do you think that college should be free then so that everybody can get like a free education? No. Why and by, not? by the way, what's happening in college is not an education. Well, okay. Um, oh. I'm just, you don't think that college should be free because it's not an education? If it well, was. It, no. Wait, wait, wait. If both, it was an education both. in your eyes, would you think that should be free, or do you what just... do you mean by free? You mean paid by somebody else? Well, sure, our taxpayer dollars would go. Oh, to okay, pay so, for so, it. so, so, yeah, so, so, paid by somebody else. So it's not free. Nothing. And I, I don't like when people say, "Yeah, it's free." Nothing. Nothing is free, especially something such as college. It will never be free because it costs. You have to pay the professors. You have to pay for the land. You have to pay for the buildings, books. You have to pay for something. So is not free. I'm assuming she's saying taxes will pay for it. If that's the case though, would taxes also raise for the average citizen? What if the citizen didn't go to college or their children didn't go to college? Will they still have to pay higher taxes? Let's continue. Else. Sure. Uh, sure. No, I don't believe that your schooling should be paid by somebody else. I want my taxes to go to schooling for everybody. I think education's great. I don't want my taxes to go to fund wars. I don't want my taxes to go to the military or the police budget, but I don't get you to You don't pick. want any military? I don't think that it should go to fund the military what? like that. I want my taxes. You don't want any police force? What? Um, I want my taxes to go towards education because I think- Who do you think is protecting- <laughs> Oh my goodness. Who do you think is protecting this country that allows you to be even able to go to school? People discredit the military and the police so much. And it's, to me, it's the most first world take that you can ever have because your life is so safe. You are so secure in your safety that you can't even imagine why the military or police officers receive funding. And that just means they're doing their job. But you don't even realize that. I think education is valuable. Do you think that education okay. should be well, what paid is for? So define education. I'm curious. Sure. It's just the, uh, I would probably say that education right now is the ability to go out and and learn different mindsets, to be introduced to different subjects, to have the opportunities to talk about these things okay. with a lot of different kinds of people. I think that's the really cool part about college. Someone like you can come here and have different opinions. My history teacher just talked about how he's like, so you look at, he does this whole like, I'm a conservative, old school conservative act. And then one of my other teachers, she's like, I'm a bleeding hippie, you know? There's like a lot of opportunities to just be introduced to subjects you didn't even know were a thing. Like I didn't know that semiotics was a thing until my last philosophy class. And I think that's really interesting. 
So just the idea that you get to go out to this place and you get to get taught about a bunch of different ideas. Do you, are you against that being available for everyone? Oh, I have a completely different view of what education is. So edu yeah, um, before he speaks, I just want to give my view on it because I'm in college right now. If she, what she described sounds perfect and all. And from that point of view, I understand why she supports a majority of people going to college or pursuing an education on that higher level. However, college, as Charlie Kirk is about to get into it, is much more than what you just described. Education in Latin means to lead forth. Okay. The, your idea of education is the new age, which is we're going to have like a buffet line of postmodern ideas and all ideas are treated the same. I don't believe that at all. College means partnership in Greek. And going back to education, you must lead forth towards something. And I think college should lead you towards the good, the true, and the beautiful. Okay. It should lead you towards things. You think it should lead towards beautiful things? Of like, course. Like beautiful things like you think that we should go out after college and be like where's the prettiest thing that's if your idea me? of beauty is just the aesthetic then you're not having a great college well, what's, experience what's your idea of beauty my bad that my which bad. is perfected in being okay so you really like the the greek ideas and like the roman ideas of like the the idea of perfection and perfect harmony because that's like a very greek and roman way of well approaching. it's western what? which is the civilization we currently live in okay but, that but let me finish from greek and roman it, of course ideologies. you're right so the good the true and the beautiful are the three things that every college student should grapple with do you think in this current university that is what you're currently grappling with that the focus of your education is enriching yourself to get closer to what is good what is true and beautiful see i don't engage with you on the ideas that good true and beautiful are something that can be defined and something well, that, that can be taught your perfect evidence of why good true and beautiful can be defined i'd give an example i'm an engineering major i'm not into philosophy or history for my specific um degree choice when he said you're supposed to be striving towards the good the be and the beautiful, that basically means you're supposed to become or strive towards mastery of your specific subject. For example, I'm in electronics and, and microcontrollers and optics. When I graduate, the goal is to be not a master in these subjects, but closer to mastery and be able to create objects or or tools or essential items for society based off of my mastery of the subject and that is what's beautiful what he's saying is college doesn't necessarily give you the tools to master something in order to create something beautiful or identify something beautiful within your realm of study however it just indoctrinates you to think a certain way and he's saying that that's not beautiful i think i think college is a scam why do you s wait i don't because of course they could be defined and they should be sought after. Okay, so you think that something like the beautiful, the perfect, like yes. something like goodness can be defined in quantifiable, teachable. T oh, because you're Christian, I forgot. You guys think yes. that there's like yes, a the, binary to well, no, goodness. Well, there, no, there, there's a hierarchy, not a binary. Oh, there's okay. an ultimate perfection. The ultimate okay. perfection would be that there's a creator who loves you, okay. who made you in his image and loved you so much to come down and take the broken flesh form, live a perfect life, die and rise from the dead mm -hmm. so that you might live forever. There mm -hmm. is nothing more perfect, good, true, or beautiful than that. Okay, so I don't really engage with religion like that, but what about just the idea that you get to go to a place, you get taught- You're wearing a cross. You have a cross on your neck. What do you mean you don't engage with religion? About different subjects, you get the opportunity, okay, I'm sorry, because you don't, you don't have access to all these things wherever you come from. You get the opportunity to talk to people who know a lot about these different subjects and get to learn about that. You don't think that, that no, should be free well, or like provided for? First of all, I don't for? think it should be free, and I don't think that's what education should be or what it once was when it was at its best. When you do see, you think it was at its best? Because we have like the Indian Golden House of, oh no, I think it was called the okay. Baghdad Golden House of Wisdom. We have the Greek and Roman and... They had their whole thing about how you have to learn astrology at the same time as learning your education. Correct. We have like so many different points of learning and knowledge. I think people just love to learn. I think learning is inherent to what we want to do with our lives. So, so two thoughts. That is the first line of Aristotle's metaphysics, which is all people seek to know that something within us wants to learn. So to answer your question, when was education at its best? It was no, that at its was your, you were the one who was like, education is not at their I, best I, here. You're like, this is your new age bullshit. Like, it, 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 no, 
No, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no. Young lady, you are wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You are wrong. When you talk to a high schooler, I'm going to say high schooler because that's the people who are making the decisions and signing these long contracts about going to school. When you talk to a high schooler and they're a senior or a junior and you ask them about college, what do they say? Oh, I want to go to that college right there because they have the best parties or they're the most fun or they have the most girls or they have the most boys. You never hear anything about choosing the college based off of how much they're going to learn. They may mention it slightly, but I beg the I beg the question that the average high schooler doesn't even know what they want to study in college. And the majority of decisions are based purely off of how much fun they think they're going to have. Although college is one of the most expensive decisions you can ever make in life, and I'm not faulting anyone for having any type of loans for college, I'm just saying the average high schooler does not take it serious enough when picking a degree, and that shows where we are when it comes to our education and when it comes to our college system. If you look at the average high schooler, they don't know anything about it. All they know is they want to have fun. So that's what college is. That's what you have to look at when you're defining why people go to school. Look at the average high schooler. They're the ones making the decisions. Look at the average high schooler's parents who are helping them make the decisions. We're not going for education. We're not going for mastery. We're not going for what's beautiful. We're going for fun. We're going for enjoyment. We're going for a break for reality. That's what's happening. Let's keep, let's be honest. I'm in college right now. I'm not going to lie to you. That's what's happening. It is. So, but so let, when let, let was me, it good? I was about to say that and you interrupted me again, oh, okay? My, my bad. I'm All sorry. Right. So it was at its best when we had a thing called classical education here in America, specifically around the American founding. Classical education has a prioritization mm -hmm. on the Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle and the core canon of Greek thinking, which is that there is an abstract distant good the mm. logos, which mm. created the world, right? Mm -hmm. I want to try to find out more about what that is. So you think that education should revolve around ethics then? You think it should be well, teaching people? Well, it's a big part of education, yes. I think that creating good people should be the number one priority of education. Okay. Do you guys think that creating good people is a priority at Cal State Fullerton? I don't think that that is really a thing that you can achieve like with a pointed... I don't think there's a way to really teach somebody being like being a good person is so hard and it involves it so many different you, like though. factors i could prove to you I think how that we could do it we're getting a little bit too general no, no, with things because no, the greeks I'll, and the romans I'll they were really you. like they were they had a lot of beliefs okay plato and aristotle were not like let's do the most good they were not all in agreement about all these different things well, they no, had a lot well, of they, different they had, they had a teacher student relationship but let me ask you a question if do you think people would commit more crimes or less crimes if they knew that a police officer was watching them at all times. I don't think this is what Just, we're talking and, and, no, about. No, no, it's bro. no. You asked. You said you cannot teach people good. I'm asking a question. Mm -hmm. If somebody f thought that somebody was watching their actions, mm -hmm. would they behave differently? I think that people behave differently when yes. people watch Therefore, their actions. Yes. Therefore, if society thought that there was a god that was watching all of their actions, would they behave differently? Do you feel like you behave better when someone is? No, I don't. My thing is. You can't really answer a question with a question. It's very condescending. He asked you a question. Do you think people's actions would be different if there was a God watching them or they believed a God was watching them? That's how he phrased it. She didn't even acknowledge what he just said. She just said, I don't even know what she said. She, she just didn't acknowledge... She didn't acknowledge his statement. Watching Absolutely. Your and in fact, I, I... So you feel like you can't be good without someone there no, no, to observe it's not, it? No, it's not a matter of you can't be good. Is that you act better if you think that there is somebody watching and judging your actions. That feels this is really the biblical unfortunate for you because I want to do good because I think it's better for the people around me, not because someone's watching me. Hold That's on. like the ideas of the panopticon. Well, you know? hold on a second. But if you believe that somebody is always watching your behavior... You'd be mm -hmm. less likely to lie, less likely to steal, less likely to cheat. And this is a good question because mm. you're coming after this in good faith. Mm. Do you think human beings are generally naturally good or generally not so good? Are we, are, we, are we flawed from our birth or are we good or are we a blank slate? See, you're bringing up these Christian ideas of good again. I don't think we really come to the same synthesis on what a good person is. Okay, I feel was like Hitler good? 
Um, I feel like, again, you're not listening to me. What? I feel Pretty like simple we don't question. come to the No, everything in life is not subjective. Stop. All this history mumbo jumbo, all this philosophical banter. No, everything in life is not subjective. I'm a STEM student. We don't deal if no, there are objective truths in society. If you go to a physicist and say, um, 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 my microphone can fly, he's going to look at you like you're crazy because whether or not you want to believe it, there are states of matter that do not change. There are states of momentum and, and, and energy that do not change. And humans are the same. Stop trying to fake like everything in life. It's just on a spectrum. Some things aren't. They are not that. It's not that black. I mean, it's not that great in the gray area. Some things are black and white. Sorry. The same synthesis about well, what I think good we will, though. is. Because for me, I think that something like good is, again, the question of ethics. It's not really a question of education, right? So you have but, to decide. But what people, simple. It's what not people a trick decide question. for themselves is good is different, right? So Hitler but, thought what he was doing was good for his people. Oh my we do not see his actions as good because he was pretty awful to a lot of people. But when we turn things into an ethical question, he, he may see it as doing good for himself and God because yes, a lot of people believe they're doing good for God, even if Wait, that was, thing is was, killing people. Was Hitler doing something objectively wrong. Which thing are you talking about? You're talking the about the concentration genocide? camps. No, Bro, I don't what? like the concentration camps, believe it or not. But hold on, you don't like. So was that objectively bad? Objectively bad. I do think that hurting people is objectively okay, bad. Okay, so now we're believing in bad. So then good, there's a spectrum now. You said objectively bad. So you now just said there's a spectrum. It's not a matter of, well, somebody wanted to do some good for yourself. No, no, no. Now mm -hmm. there's a spectrum. Concentration mm -hmm. camp, ba bad. So mm -hmm. then let's like get away from that. How about Mother Teresa? Good? Are you talking about her actions and trying to help the poor? Hundreds of thousands. Bro, she's stressing me out. <laughs> she's stressing me out. And this is why everyone, everyone, this is why that I just decided to go into the STEM field when I chose my area of study, this would have been, this is what I would have been talking about in my classes. It is stressful. Everything can't be on a spectrum. How do you have a right or wrong if everything is just subjective? Like, what are we talking about? She's trying to justify Hitler's actions. She's trying to justify his actions. She refuses to say that what he did was bad. <laughs> she's, she's refusing to say it. She's dancing around it. No, this is this is stressing me out. Thousands of uh, poor people that were saved in India and Calcutta thanks to her sacrificial work over 30 years. I don't know Mother Teresa like that, just, but can we go back to it? For... I feel like we've gone really off track. No, it's not. One, actually, I, we're, we're, again, we're, 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 again, you're, you're, you're talking about the most important hey, thing because... Hey, dude, you're interrupting me again. Well, it, it is kind of our table. So, Bro. Um, oh, so but, you can interrupt me, but yeah, I can't but, interrupt no, but you. Hold on. The fact you can't answer this question shows that college is a scam. Because what? if uh, you can't say that Mother Teresa good and Hitler Mother bad... Mother Teresa denied anesthetics to people who are in serious pain because she thought the suffering would bring them closer <sighs> to God. I think a lot of what she did could be considered... I highly doubt that to be true. Okay, but, okay, but, but I'll take whatever. It. We can't just reference random things and use that. Because right now we're talking about ideologies. Again, I find that what I consider to be good revolves more around the fact that humans are social creatures and generally pro-social attitudes of promoting uh, collectivism tends to be it tends to be better for people just because that's in our evolutionary nature Is but it? you are a Christian. So you believe that there's a guy watching you and that's what makes you do good. You're no, like, it's not. if someone's that, that, that watching a, me, I am more likely no. to be nice. But hold, I want to be there, nice a because lot of other, I like how other, other people reasons to react do good. To I was others. asking okay. the question that for would you be more or less likely to shoplift if a police officer was next to you in a department store? It's a very simple ethical question. But how does that make me good or not? That just I tried to find out if Mother Teresa actually denied anesthetics. But as you know, every time you look up something like this, you can never find it. The answer is always hidden within articles. So another time of me looking something up and not finding the answer. <laughs> I'll try again next video. It just makes it me makes worried about consequences. Good. No, it makes me worried about consequences, you little exactly. faced man. If you do not have consequences. But Hold consequences on. does not determine the, ethics. The, the, it the just mark means of an intellectual fool is throwing around pejoratives when they don't have wisdom. Remember that. So let, 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 so the question is this.
If you do not believe there's a consequence to your action, why wouldn't you do the action? See, that's, again, the ideo ideology of consequentialism. I don't really subscribe yes, to that. Yes, th there I should think be that, consequences. No, but I think that consequences, your actions can exist outside of a vacuum of consequences, right? We can't make our decisions based on whether or not we think the actions will will lead to a certain outcome because those will always be random, right? So what? I revolve more around we try to do things that we think will promote general pro-social attitudes. I think that that is more likely okay. to get us other than worrying let, about let me, that Let me ask you a hypothetical. Have, okay, I, I, this another will tell hypothetical. Me a lot. Is pedophilia wrong? Pedophilia I consider to be wrong because it is actively damaging someone else, right? But what if they say they're a minor attracted person and it's pro-social to be with a young person? What, why are they wrong? Do you wrong? know what pro-social means? Like pro-social means there's like pro-social and anti-social behaviors. It's like a theory of social um, psychology. Pro-social generally means like... Bro, she's stressing me out, man. Like, <laughs> I think I know less. <laughs> I think I know less now than I did when I clicked this video. And I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not trying to bully her because I'm sure since everything's on a spectrum... In some realm, she's probably very intelligent. In some realm of life, I don't know. But just watching this made me know a little less. I don't, I, I'm more confused now than I was 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I promise I'm more confused now. Working together, uh, socialization. You know, they're socializing with an eight year old. Why is that wrong? Okay, that's not socializing and you know it. Antisocial behavior well, usually means doing things that are considered. Um, rejecting socialization, like rejecting other people, pushing things away, promoting uh, things that other people actively end up um, considering less. So then, should time pedophiles to go to prison? Uh, pedophiles go to. I do not know what's the best way to handle pedophilia because. No, because how do we know. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, man. I can't believe I'm watching this. I can't believe I'm watching this. This is really... I don't think that anyone should molest a child, God forbid. But hold on. I really Wh don't. Wh but why shouldn't a pedophile go to prison? What? That's... Again, we're getting really off topic. Let's go no, back to the ideas actually, of good no, and evil and consequentialism. We're talking about college is a scam, and you're a perfect example, like one of the Aww, best thank you. I've ever seen thank to you. show the intellectual drivel that is caught on a college okay, campus. Okay, because you think that I'm not being taught about the good, the pure. Well, let's go back to that because I thought that the, was really interesting. Yeah, the good, the, the true, good, the, the yeah, true, we'll do a couple more minutes. The good, the, the true, and the beautiful, yes. Right, so you think that that's something that can be quantified, can be taught, and that it should... And experienced. That, wait, and not only that, that it should be taught, that yes. we should promote the ideas of good and beauty to other people. Correct. Okay, but let's remove it from that. What about just the idea of... Because, remember, the ancient Greeks and Romans that you love so much, they didn't have the same ideas of God in the same way that we do. But That's they correct. still... Thank you for saying I'm correct. That was really nice of you. Um, it's true, you're um, right. So when they wanted to learn, when they sought out learning, when they had schools of learning and all that kind of stuff, a lot of the times they didn't just teach things around ethics. They taught other stuff. They taught astrology. They taught medicine. They taught science. They taught arts. And people wanted to learn that. Do you think that that ability, that experience of going into a place and saying, can you teach me more about this subject? Can I learn? Can I expand my worldview? Can I get open to different beliefs? Do you think that that should not be paid for or not be compensated? First of all, it should definitely not be paid for. Secondly, mm -hmm. it depends if those disciplines are mm -hmm. rooted in the pursuit of truth, goodness, and beauty. So you think let me only if once they're tied into something that well, falls in your ide hold on, ideological hold on, worldview. My, can, I, can I finish? Okay. Oh, if those my disciplines bad. are finished, are are rooted in the good, the true, and the beautiful. Absolutely. Let me give you a hypothetical example. Okay. So if you go, I don't know if this school has one, but if they have some sort of center for like feminist ideology mm -hmm. or some sort of inter, do they have one here? Then th that is not in the pursuit of what is good, true, and beautiful. That is. Yeah, this is, this conversation, it really, I don't even know what I'm supposed to get from this. If I'm being honest, I don't know what, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to understand from this. Uh, anyways, I'll see y'all later.